What's up? This is Vape Green Tree 420. First video on this channel. And um, we're going to go through your options for makeshift rolling papers when you're out of rolling papers. So, our first option we got here is dictionary paper. Uh, not bad. If you can get it, get it where there's no ink because it just burn, burns cleaner. Uh, next we got Bible paper, which I think will be pretty good. It feels really thin. Then we have receipt paper, which is also slightly thicker, but uh, I think it'll be pretty good. Five gum wrapper. I heard a lot about these ones. Um, i show you how to get that in a later video. Uh, it's really thin. I think it'll be very good. And another candy paper, which is from chocolate, but um, any sort of thin paper. And we're going to burn them and see which one is the least residue, the least amount of ash. Because you want the least amount of ash, cleaner burn. So we'll set up the dictionary paper first. Give it a light. We'll see how it burns down. Burns slowly. Yeah, I don't know how this one's going to be. It looks like it's going to leave a lot of residue. I think the best ones will be the five gum wrapper and the, uh, which was this? The Bible paper, which I've also heard is a lot. All right, there we go for the dictionary paper. It left a lot of residue. It actually caught the other paper on fire. Um, all right, next one we'll do the Bible paper. Let's see if we can get this one to stand up. Alright, this isn't staying burnt well. That's surprising. Yeah, so the bottle paper doesn't seem to burn too well. Which could be a good thing. I mean, you do want it to burn slowly when you're old, Jay. Um, and it left not too much residue. Not too much ash. Really thin ash opposed to this dark ash. So I would definitely say bottle paper over dictionary paper. Now we'll do the receipt. And I cut the, all the papers to do the same size to get accurate measurement, not having a large piece of paper. That seems to be burning funny burning with like little sparks coming off of it and it's flaking off I don't know if I use that one yeah I don't like the look of this ash it's like it's like really dark and flaky yeah I would bottle paper definitely is good uh, so far I wouldn't use any of the other ones now we're going to do the five gum paper. I don't know if we'll be able to get this one to stand. Five gum wrapper has a, it's probably what I've heard the most about. And then Bible paper. Let's get that on the camera. It's burning good. Burns fast. That's definitely the thinnest one. And I think it definitely left the least amount of ash for sure. Five gum wrapper is definitely number one. Here's another kind of candy wrapper. This feels like wax paper, so I don't know. I don't know. It's thin, so we'll see. But Bible, I mean, um, Bible paper and five gum wrapper definitely look the best. This looks like it's not going to be too bad. Yeah, so that actually burned down really well. I'm actually very surprised by that. That's very, very thin. So what we have here is the dictionary paper, which is like 
thick and black, I wouldn't use it. Uh, the Bible paper, which is really thin, it's good. This was the receipt, which is actually on a lot on the internet, which looks horrible. Don't use that. And then the five gum wrapper, which looks really good. And the other candy wrapper looks really good too. So there you go. That's Those are makeshift rolling papers. I would definitely recommend the five gum.